Hey everyone, my name is Hexaberry. Currently, I am a mastery level 225 dozer main, and this is my revised and simplified Battlefield 2042 dozer guide. For those who aren't aware of what dozer does, he has a shield that can be used to protect yourself and your team as his main ability. And as a passive ability, he is able to take larger amounts of explosive damage compared to any other character. Let's start off with tip number one, which is changing your keybinds. Dozer's shield is extremely important as it protects you and your team. It can save your life and get you out of an emergency situation and earn you some kills too. Because of how important it is to use your shield, it's also important to equip it as fast and as easily as possible. I have my shield binded to the F key so I can move my finger over one single key. I have two reasons for doing that. One, because it's easier on me and my fingers, and two, because it's just a key that's really close and easily accessible. You can also bind it to one of your mouse buttons if you'd like. Once you find a key that is easier to press, you can take your shield out faster to protect you from pretty much all danger in a very short amount of time. Now that the key binding is out of the way, let's move to tip number two, which is actually using your shield. I still run into a lot of dozers who have no idea what they're doing and just stare at me while I'm running towards them with my shield to send them back to the spawn screen. You have to understand that the shield is there to be used. Get into the habit of pushing into objectives with your shield out, especially if you aren't sure where the enemies could be. If you know where the enemies are, be aggressive and just run towards them. Remember, you can crouch and even slide towards the enemy if they are smart enough to shoot your legs. If the enemy decides to move around a lot and try and shoot around your shield, keep your dot crosshair on them as much as possible and keep them in front of you to predict their movement so you don't get your ankles broken. Dozer was recently buffed by the way so you'll have an easier time rotating the shield. Also with the dozer buffs, you can now ride zip lines with your shield out, so take advantage of that feature and make taking zip lines across rooftops much safer now for you and any teammate behind you. Once you get into the habit of using your shield more often, we can move into tip number three, which is having patience. Sometimes you'll run into people who think unloading an entire magazine into your shield will keep you away from killing them. They are wrong. A quick pro gamer dozer tip is to wait until they start reloading and then you pull out your gun and blast them with the window of time that you have while they still have no ammo. Other times if they see you with your shield out they just simply try and run away. Again all you need to do is just pull your gun out and shoot them with their back turned to you. Also, you may run into enemies that just decide to ignore you for whatever reason to focus on someone else if you stare at them and do nothing. Once they shift their focus to someone else, you can shoot them when you are safe to do so. On the topic of patience, we can segue into tip number four, which is a new XP event for Dozer, and that is called Distraction. It's pretty simple to understand, but you can now get XP for keeping an enemy busy with your shield while your team comes in like the Avengers and wipes the floor at the enemy you are having a staring contest with. You don't always have to be the person doing the killing, especially if you are low health. As long as you have your shield out and are contributing to protecting some teammates if they're behind you, your team should be able to recognize a threat and take them out thanks to your distracting shield. Moving to tip number 5 which will be all about predicting where the enemy is. I want to go over using your map and spotting as much as possible. Pay attention to your map for enemies that are behind cover or about to come around a corner so you can take your shield out ahead of time and catch them off guard. 
If you're planning on attacking someone that is farther away from you, make sure you continuously spot them so you can predict where they will be just so you don't lose their position and end up getting shot in the back. Audio is just as important as visual aspects in this game. Try and invest in a good headset so you can hear the enemies to try and pinpoint exactly where they are. In this case, if you're unable to spot them, you'll definitely be able to hear them. If you're defending an objective with your team, make sure you hold your shield up and continuously spot the approaching enemies so your team can back you up and prevent the enemies from coming close. Enemy soldier, march! Mount the Bahastan! Our forces just secured Sector Delta. Enemy soldier, march! We secured most of the sectors. Defend them at all costs. I see a hostile fire thing! That's close to me! Hostile! On the ground! They're falling back. Good work. The last bit of information I'd like to leave everyone watching this with is just a list of things to avoid. Number one would be incendiary grenades, which is one of the main counters to Dozer. I have this on the list because sometimes you'll feel forced to drop your shield or panic and use your med pen. Just try your best to avoid the fire while still being protected by your shield and then heal up when you get back to cover. Number two would be approaching enemies that are spread out in a wide open area with your shield out. While you might be protected by one person, another will have a flank on you and then your guard will be let down. The last thing I'd say to avoid is heavy explosives such as tank shells and rocket launchers from hitting your shield. If your shield is hit by one of those, your guard will be let down for a little bit because your shield will fly off to the side, leaving you as an unarmed target. Now, I would hate to end off the video with some negative stuff that could happen to you as Dozer. So here is one last funny epic thing to take note of for those who are still watching. You can take vehicles out with your shield. All you need to do is plop down your C5 next to each other on a vehicle and give them a nice shield bash. Now I haven't been able to pull this off in a real match yet, but I'm still trying my best to do so. Now that is all of the dozer information I will leave you with for this video. Hopefully you can get a better hang of him now in your own free time. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you on the battlefield. I'm ready if you are. Don't get me. One is down! I 
Steering wheel up one in the rear. That's kind of insane. Like that's not really a lot. To get a Oh, good. 